What's up, Libra? Thank you for joining me for your August whole story reading. Again, this is for Libra, August 2020, the whole story. For those of you who are new, the whole story is where I go through the entire deck for you, including the clarifying deck. So let's get started with the shuffling. Libra, August 2020. Shuffle with this one. What does Libra have going on? What can they expect? August twenty twenty. So you feel a bit stuck, like uh, you don't see progress happening. Just give me a moment while I get all the cards out. I almost get this feeling of you've tried and tried and tried. I don't see any progress. I don't see any results. I'm just going to start over. I feel that for some of you, the reason you feel this way is because you're experiencing some financial hardship and you need to get out of it. And so it's like, for some of you, you know, you may feel like I don't have the luxury of waiting around anymore. I need to do something here. Mm. There's gonna be an unexpected opportunity it's coming like out of the blue. An unexpected victory here. Let's see. I feel there's been a lot of confusion. A lot of confusion for you, uh, figuring things out, figuring how to make the situation better. And I, I almost feel as though you haven't gotten help from anyone. So you've had to figure this out for yourself. Yeah, and you're not pleased about that. It's, a, it's like you're asking yourself, where has everybody gone? Where are all my friends? Where are, where is all my family? Where is everybody when I need them? getting this message you you want to start fresh you want to start new because you have felt hopeless helpless uh, unsupported and it's like you've been waiting you've been patient you've been holding out uh, for things to change and they just have not no matter how much work and effort you've been putting in things are not changing and this has you really unsatisfied very much worried about your financial, in, right now, insta instability.
your intuition is telling you that there is something new you need to do, but it's, you, you can't figure out what that is. You can't make it out. Either you can't make it out or you're not sure if, if you should, if you have the courage to do this. Um, because I feel like you almost have to let go of what feels somewhat comfortable or um, jump into something that is completely outside of your comfort zone. Uh, for some of you, you may feel like whatever it is that you know that you want to do that's new, some kind of new endeavor, pursuing a new idea. Um, it, it may feel to you like it's out of reach, like it's far fetched. Some of you, you're you're. You feel like you have done everything you could and you're almost to the point where you want to walk away from from your hopes and dreams and wishes because you feel like again like there's no hope here there's uh, I've tried I've done everything I could and all I've gotten is disappointment all I've received is failure I feel um, there is an energy here of somebody who has been trying to control you and I feel it's a partner okay so for some of you it could be a spouse or just somebody you're dating somebody you're very close to they they, they and it may not be that they want to control you per se, but they definitely have a strong influence in your life. Um, and I'm, I'm getting here that you want to break free from that because you realize that this has been holding you back. But there's a lot of mental conflict about this. How do I make this happen? How do I um, free myself? How do I gain more independence to do the things that I... I am sensing I need to do for myself to get myself out of this rut, this this hole, this um, financial instability, and this unhappiness. Mm. For some of you, there's been um, a very strained relationship here is what I'm seeing. Uh, and you may actually be thinking, you know, I've been unhappy with this person for quite some time. So you may be letting someone know that you want to be free. You want to be single. That's for some of you. Wow. So I'm seeing here a situation. Now, this is a general reading, so some of these messages may apply to you, some, for some of you, all of them, for some of you, none. But I am seeing a situation here where what you are letting go of may just be a relationship, a marriage. I feel that there is someone else around you who truly makes you happy. And some of you are taking this leap of faith. It's something that you have been holding back. You may be leaving someone for somebody else. That's what I'm seeing. And this is, it's like, 
this would be like a marriage. You're leaving a marriage for someone else who makes you happy, who makes you, who encourages you, who makes you feel alive. Wow. Okay, let's see what else. That was juicy. It's not a marriage, it's it's a committed, someone you've been with for a while, or you, maybe you live with them, could be. Yeah, I'm seeing a separation happening. And there's expression of emotions, expression of what you truly desire. It's like you get that courage to fight for what you really want, even if you have to uh, face the conflict. This may be a very ruthless decision that you're taking where um, you may come across as hurtful, but you're going for your, your, your dreams, what your true passion is. You're not afraid of this ending anymore. Look at that. We have Ten of Swords and Ten of Cups both in reverse next to each other. There's going to be some strong words spoken. I feel like um, tempers, tempers are going to fly. Yeah, you're letting go. You're letting go of the past uh, for, in favor of something new, someone new. And I see a separation, yeah. Look at that, Four of Swords and the Death card. And there's there's a revelation of perhaps a third party situation which ends up, you're ending a third party situation by leaving uh, the committed partner. Uh, either that or someone who's doing this to you. Yeah, you're finally taking the action that you were so passionate, you're following your passions after holding back for so long you just let it all hang out that's <laughs> look at this the emperor in reverse emperor is all about control so in reverse it's like uh, no more you're not controlling it anymore and this card is actually called debauch so yeah you're just going with it you're going with the flow But I feel it's an action, like it, it, I feel that when this happens, it may just, it may just, ha it's not something that you're going to plan out and say, okay, this day I'm going to have this conversation and I'm going to just say what I'm feeling and what I'm going to do. No, I feel like this, this comes out of like a moment of frustration. Um, it could be during a, um, an argument and you just blurt it out. But once you start, there is no stopping you. And then there's a separation. Because you you know, you just say what you have to say, but you don't wanna you don't wanna stay in that environment, this toxic environment. Yeah, you're not gonna fight your emotions anymore. You've been um, repressing your feelings for someone.
Yeah, look at this. This is you, King of Swords in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles. So you are cutting out, you're making a very harsh decision about a, a, a committed relationship, fa family, you know, family can be involved here. Mm -hmm. You have decided that this is the end, you're, you're, you're going to start, um, it's the beginning of the end, that's what I'm seeing, the beginning of the end. Yeah, there's major change, Ten of Swords, Two of Pentacles. The star and the seven of swords in reverse. So again, there is some kind of truth being spoken, a revelation. You're 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 revealing your true feelings, your true desires, your true passions, and this is your final decision. But again, I feel you don't you don't really see this coming. This comes unexpectedly. This happens pretty unexpectedly. Yeah, and I feel it's through a, a conversation. There's an unexpected revelation of secrets that comes about uh, during an argument because the, the, it, it gets really, really heated. Mm. It's something that's been in your thoughts for a while, but you haven't haven't been able to express it you didn't have like the courage to say it because you you hadn't quite yet decided but here it is new beginning that you have manifested a new love yeah queen of swords queen of wands so whatever it is that you were thinking you're now taking the action on it and it definitely makes people around you not happy okay but you don't care <laughs> You're just going to do it. Mm -hmm. So two of pentacles with the nine of pentacles, this change um, that comes about, you know, you, you're going to find yourself single. I feel, uh, I want to say this is going to be mostly directed toward male Libras. But uh, again, not necessarily. So yeah, look, this ending, Wheel of Fortune, it's going to bring some disappointment to someone that, who you've been with for a while. And I, I, I just feel like it's a female energy. If it's not a female energy, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Or, well, this is your card, Libra. Oh, okay. I see. So yeah, it, it doesn't have to be the male. This could just be you letting go of the past. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you weren't sure before. You weren't sure that this is what you wanted to do. But in a very heated moment in conversation, it just kind of happens. You blurt it out. I don't want to be with you anymore. I'm in love with somebody else. Something of that nature. Drama. All right, let's finish it up and see what happens here. Yeah, there's a choice between two lovers and you're going to go with the one who you are attracted to now who you're passionate about but this ending is causing a lot of heartbreak and a lot of drama in your life and a lot of frustration but we do end up with the six of pentacles so it's a temporary drama and frustration that will eventually bring more uh, peace and balance into your life so yeah so the reason that this uh, has taken a while for you to, you know, build up to is because you, you just, you, you weren't sure. Uh, you weren't sure or you were afraid to make this move. Uh, you know, Libras are the diplomats and, and that's kind of what I see happening here is that any delay 
is because you you didn't necessarily want to hurt anyone. Uh, you wanted everyone to be happy. You know, you were trying to maintain balance in the situation. But you being with this person is, is it's just, it doesn't feel right, okay? It doesn't feel, yeah. I mean, you can't avoid it. There's going to be heartbreak because someone's going to be left uh, single. But you have to. Look, Ten of Wands, Page of Wands. you got to lay down that burden so that you can have this new beginning. And you do make that decision to do that, to go for the new beginning. Two of Swords with the Ace of Wands with this new person, Two of Cups. Yes, look at that. Knight of Cups, Two of Cups. You're offering your love to somebody else. You're gonna fight for it. You're gonna fight for peace, for balance, for happiness. You want a relationship that is reciprocal. You wanna be with someone who feels exactly the way that you feel about them and in a good way not in a bad way so yeah i'm feeling like it's time libra it's time to move on so i hope that this was helpful i'll see you guys soon bye